If you're not married, what will it look like when you break up? My name is Laura Hurd and I'm an attorney in San Antonio, Texas. And as a family law attorney, I'm seeing a lot more cases where people lived together for quite a while, had kids together, bought property together, went into debt together, and then they break up. And it turns out that it's even messier than if they were married and getting a divorce because the rules are not as clear if you weren't married. First of all, generally one one party is going to claim there was a marriage if it's advantageous to them and the other party will say no and you have a big fight over whether there was a marriage or not, a common law marriage. If there was a common law marriage, it's treated like any other marriage in the divorce, but you have to prove that the parties lived together, also that they intended to be married and that they held themselves out to the public to be married. And one party will say they never intended it, the other one will say yes, we intended it, but you've got to have some evidence and some documentation and some people who will testify that you held yourself out as married and maybe things like joint tax return filing as married or applications for different things like the home loan where you put down that you were married. Those, those things can be used as evidence that you were in fact common law married. If you're able to prove that you were not married or you agree that you were not married, then the rules about child custody and child support are the same same as whether you were married or not, it makes no difference. You still have the situation if you cannot agree on who is going to have custody of the children, where you're going to have a big fight over what is the best interest of the children. And the judge has to decide who gets custody, who pays child support, and how much the child support's going to be. And sometimes it's a little difficult to figure that out if you don't have clearly documented income. It's difficult to determine what the income is to calculate the child support. So all that can get just as messy whether you're married or not. But the biggest problem is if you own property together or you have debts together and you're not married, then how do we divide that? You're entitled to have it divided. The judge will have to order a house sold if you're not gonna both stay in the house and the money divided. But are you gonna divide it 50-50? Or are you going to divide it according to who put more money into it? The judge has to decide, like a business contract, what the agreement of the parties was, or they have to decide it as if it were a, a business partnership. And it's not easy to do if there was nothing in writing, and y'all really didn't discuss ahead of time what you were going to do in case of a breakup. Then there's always the situation of trying to figure out what to do if one of you wants to keep the house and you want to buy out the other one. How that's going to work. And sometimes there's an argument over what you intended there. So there's a lot of things that can go wrong, even though you're not married, it can be just as messy and maybe even more expensive and more difficult to get separated because you weren't married and the rules are a little more, un, a little more fuzzy.